Kathy Fouch, and um, I'm from Monument, and a uh, retired teacher. And um, I started at the urging of Phoebe. Hi, and I'm Phoebe, also from Monument and a teacher. And I think we've done this about three years. I think so. Uh, yeah. We get here and we check bins out in the hall and we see what kind of things have been donated to Catholic Charities and specifically for Family Connections and we carry it all in here and then we sort it out. We sort both clothing for children and also baby food and formula. When we sort out the baby food, uh, what we have to do is date everything so that um, those items are not out of date and therefore spoiled or not uh, usable. Uh, same way, really, with the clothing, we try to discern uh, what would be um, not only most appropriate and what's needed, but also what kind of shape it's in, and so that's what sorting means to us. Well, for me, I was glad to see the emphasis and the focus on just lifting people, people that maybe have a struggle or a need right now, lifting them to move on into more independence and, and a life that they're in charge of. Well, for me, years ago, I had in another state, uh, I was familiar with, um, they called it, um, uh, not exactly Catholic Charities, but it was start by, started by a woman uh, whose last name is Day. And I think that she was instrumental in starting some uh, other places that in which you fed people. And um, then I came here many years later and found out how much more was being done, both professionally in terms of more social work, and involved and more long-term kind of goals I think rather than possibly a short uh, interim goal of just feeding uh, the homeless or feeding those in need and so that was a new perspective for me and a more sophisticated kind of program and so therefore there were more volunteers and um, I think for me also um, because I had done it only sporadically, and I think Phoebe had done some of the feeding, worked in the kitchen. A few times, mm -hmm. not often, but I've substituted in the kitchen. Right, and so um, not uh, when you are filling that uh, need of food that's immediate, I was really pleased that they also had a long range program too. And um, then I wanted to work with children's needs more than adult needs and so I was able to do that. Another thing about coming here that I found on a regular basis how uh, important it is for me personally and uh, you see a lot of um, volunteers and they are happy people and um, we are friends and we have another friend Chris who also comes and for us personally it's a happy way to spend some time but also meaningful that's important to me too is that we like to be together about once a week but this has this gets us together because we do all the talking and all the socializing we want to do but we're also doing something that might help another person so we're, we we really like that and I think I've loved learning about family connections specifically because we visited over there and we like some of the programs they do in helping people maybe learn you know learn and and they give them a path toward education and learning and and changing if they need if that's something that needs to be if not they just if there's not any change needed they just need a little lift right. they do that too so we love family connections also personally I don't understand um, our country a little bit in terms of myself and others we have so much stuff and um, that is a gift and a problem and this place here uh, has purpose for this stuff and um, <clears throat> whether you're rich or poor a lot of the clothing that children use is not worn out or anything uh, so 
you know, that whole idea of um, conservation comes into play just a little bit. And I appreciate that. Me too. I don't know if I have one specific moment, but what I would say that is important to me and that I've really loved is some of the connections I've made with other people. Not just Kathy, because Kathy is my good, good friend. And so that's an easy friendship to keep up. But here, you know, we've gotten to know a variety of site coordinators very well. And we really enjoy them and love when they come over. And here, just in this building, we have Rob and Patrick and Victor, a lot of different people that we've gotten to know, Doug, for instance, and Ken just walked by. And so I think about these people and we get to talk to them and know them, people that we might not know in another way. And so I think we're really fortunate in that, these connections we've made with the people that work here. Um, <clears throat> my reflection is not about one moment but about the change that I've seen in um, uh, the adult side and of the clothing or the services and um, what we did come into in the beginning. When we first got in this, uh, this area, it was stacked with black bags, period. All garbage bags, you didn't know what was in them, you didn't know anything about that. The next door place, uh, the adult clothing, was just that clothing. And now we have a, um, we've witnessed a store, more or less, uh, upstairs, so that they have, they, meaning people who are in need, uh, can go in and select things and select items of food and not just eat a meal. So I really was impressed by that change. I think that's more to the point. I think that's better use of volunteers. It's better use of this facility. And um, what the, and I think that's developed through the years that we've been here. So that's my moment is to see this um, be more in, my way of thinking a little more sophisticated than just housing some garments for people so that they um all of us are seeing that um the items that we happen to touch really be used and used uh, efficiently and effectively um and i think that was obviously the goal of the people who decided to make the change so that's been very nice and important for me to see Well, you're, it's a bit physical. I think that's important. But um, most of the volunteers in the kitchen, for sure, who are doing um, a tremendous amount of standing, I look at it as I think we have it a little easier because we get to sit and sort. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you better think about that. But also never to let your age, I'm 74, and uh, not to let your age uh, make you think that you can't do something like this and um, it keeps you young and volunteering um, is important in that you meet other volunteers and uh, that to me is uh, uh, n when you retire you tend not to meet as many new people so if you would like to meet new people do some physical work but it's not all that and um, and know that you're touching the rest of the community, you should volunteer here. I think the advice I would give is to think about it and talk to someone like Doug, because that's when we started, right. we talked to Doug to find out what best matched us. And I think it's important to think because there's lots of different volunteer opportunities. But for you to be successful, you need to find the thing that you really enjoy doing or love doing or think is important. So I would say, think it through and talk to someone and get a good match. I think I agree. Awesome. <laughs>